in the 2006 projectiles question and given the velocity here of a particle in the i and j direction 9.8 in the i direction plus 29.4 in the j direction which would represent u cos alpha in the i direction plus u sine alpha in the j direction and we're asked to express the velocity and displacement of the particle after t seconds in terms of i and j well we have velocity is equal to u plus a t with no velocity in the i direction the velocity in the i direction it's just going to be u cos alpha or this 9.8 in the i direction which is given to us for the j direction u plus a t a is going to be equal to minus g here it's going to slow it down so we're going to have u sine alpha minus gt or 29.4 minus gt in the j direction so this would be my velocity in terms of i and j and t my displacement is going to be ut plus a half at squared So we're going to have in the i direction no a, so just ut, so my u cos alpha times t, or just 9.8t in the i direction. And in the j direction, we're going to have u sine alpha by t minus a half a, so minus g over 2 t squared, or 29.4 that's given to us times t minus 4.9 t squared my displacement vector which I think we write in terms of or 9.8 t in the i direction plus 29.4 t that's the bracket minus 4.9 t squared in the j direction Part two, find in terms of t, the direction the particle is moving after t seconds, so the inverse tan. Well, or the tan, I'm just asking for in terms of t, it's not looking for the angle, the inverse tan. Just the tan, get rid of it, the tan of theta is going to be equal to, and it's the direction. So we have, so it's going to be the velocity of y, or y j over the velocity of x so my velocity is 29.4 minus i should have changed that g there to 9.8 9.8t over 9.8 and 9.8 goes into 29.4 exactly three times and into 9.8 once so 3 minus t looks like it's the the in terms of t, the direction in which the particle is moving after t seconds. And then in part three, find the two times when the direction of the particle is at right angles to the line to, to the line joining the particle to O. So here we're given this diagram here. So at right angle. So this here could might be my velocity at time t. This one here, this is my angle. We call it, call it theta or alpha. And if we look at the tan of this guy, it's going to be equal to the y displacement over the x displacement. So we could say that the tan of theta at that point is equal to the displacement in y over the displacement in x which is obviously why they've asked us to get this one so we're looking at 29.4 t minus 4.9 t squared over 9.8 and then i get my t so again dividing 9.8 t into 29.4 t we're going to get 3 and dividing 9.8 into 9, 4.9, it's going to be half of it, so it's going to be a half t, or just t over 2. And we're asked to find the two times 
when the direction of the particle is at right angles. Well, so we have just got the tan of this or the slope of this line, and at any time, which is the first one we got, will be the slope of this line, and they're at right angles to each other. So the product of these is going to be minus one. So three minus t times three minus t over two equals minus one. So we're going to get nine minus three t over two minus three t plus t squared over two. I'll bring the one across. Plus one equals naught. Multiplying by two, I'm going to get nine and one is ten, and so I'm going to get t squared minus four and a half t so that will be minus nine t and then the 10 will jump to 20 multiplying it by 2 so i'm going to get t minus 5 by t minus 4 this works out nicely equals not so the two times are after five and after four seconds